Hello my friends, it is Kim over at Life Prepared. Today I have made for you, I believe, six ready meals that you can keep on your pantry for grab and go meals. If you need to grab them and leave because of a hurricane or a flood or just a very quick meal for your family. Now I made these so that a family of four would be relatively full. I mean, some of them might be on the light side, but any meal is better than no meal, in my opinion, anyway. So let me kind of brief you with what I've done and how I put this together. All right, well, I recently reorganized my entire kitchen, and the last thing to do was that pantry over there. And I had a few things. You see these totes stacked up here. Yeah, I kind of made a mess of my kitchen again, but it'll get back together. Where I store things that um, mice can chew into, you can see that top one says cereal and sweets. I think the bottom one might have pasta, something like that in it. So I looked through all my bins and I took out everything from my cabinets. And you can see it spread out everywhere. But this way, I can use anything that needs to be used up first. That's my main goal, is to find ways to use this stuff up so that it's the first thing to go because it either expires within the last next six months to a year or they recently and some things believe me the best buy dates does not mean that date everything goes bad so I'm not so worried about that but let me get over here and I'm going to start showing you how I put these meal kits together okay I'm trying to give you the view like you're kind of sitting over my shoulder and on the side to me, I have a case of water, and I'll tell you why I did that. So my first meal, I found a couple things that need to get used up, and I pulled from my pantry. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, some corn, and I found some, I don't know why they put the label on upside down, but a can of cranberry sauce. I wonder if you know where I'm going. I have turkey-flavored stuffing mix a pack of turkey gravy, and a jar of my home canned turkey. Now a pint jar holds approximately one pound of turkey. A pound of turkey would be plenty for a family of four. All right, so I have my food together, and I wrote on here, this is going to be a label that goes inside my bag, so I don't have to keep looking and figuring out what it is. I had something expire April 22nd and I believe that was the cranberries so I'm not that worried about it I know a can is going to go a year at least past this so you know what if I just have the three of us for dinner for Thanksgiving there's part of my meal all I have to do is make a pie or something which I would probably do anyway so here it here's my stuff that I need now I'm going to add water to each of my kits for two reasons. One, if you needed to grab this and leave, you would have the water that you need to make your meal. And two, we're having trouble with our well pump and it's going out on us on and off. So if our we can't get it going again, then I know I can grab this off the shelf. We didn't drink up all the water or something like that. And I could make a meal for dinner that night. Okay, so what do I need to go in this is, I look at the gravy packet, it needs one cup of water, and the turkey mix needs one and a half cups of water. You're supposed to add some butter, but you know what, if you're home and you have it, great. If you're away from home and you don't have it, it's still going to be fine. So I need at least two and a half cups of water. I know I have at least a half a cup, and I would not waste this. This is pure turkey broth. It came, you know, I raw pack my turkey, I cook it, and this is the juices from the meat. So this would go probably into my stuffing mix to add some extra flavor. So with that, I need a bottle of water. That gives me my two and a half cups. I would also, if I needed to, use any liquid out of the can. So I would save the liquid out of here as well. I would add that with the um, juices and make my turkey stuffing. All right, how do I package this? I need a bag, and I happen to believe I'm going to need a bigger bag. Then I have some two and a half gallon bags. 
they're five that you get five of them I believe yeah five and they are from the dollar store now I'm not happy with these I got at the dollar store these are the zipper bags and for some reason these zippers are not staying sealed so I, I make sure I don't overpack I probably might be able to fit that in there but I like these with this zipper here all right, so it's just a matter of, now, excuse me for a minute, if I needed any specific instructions, like um, save your water to use for the turkey dressing, I write those on the back. I probably should do that, but I don't ever throw them away, so I would remember that. But let's just say somebody else is doing this, so we're just going to write, use turkey broth, and corn water to make stuffing. All right, so simple. If somebody picks this up, they might have an idea what you have going. So I like to start with the heaviest things first. This is most likely going to be used at home simply because of the jar. If I thought for sure I would need to take these from home, I would prefer to have a can or those bag type packages of the meat. That way I don't have to worry about my glass jar getting broken and it's a lot less weight. Then I'm going to put my corn, my cranberries, water, stuffing mix, my gravy. Okay, so I have all that stuff packed in there, and then what it is. Slip that down. I zip it up, and I try to remove some of the air, which I'll do a better job later on that, but just makes it a little easier. So there we go. I have a full turkey dinner for a family of four. All right, the second one I have here, I have a box of minute rice. Minute rice to cook this whole box needs four cups of water, little over four cups. These have a little over two cups, so I need two bottles of water to go with that. May or may not need it, depending on what I do, okay? But it's better to have it than not to have it. Then I have a can of chili. This is the no bean brand. It's just because the guys here prefer to eat it without beans. I like the beans, but... Like I said, I'm just making this easy. I'm making sort of a big meal out of a small can, okay? Then I'm going to add some diced tomatoes and some corn. So it's going to be, I don't know, what do you want to call it, Tex-Mex chili? So I have the corn, the chili, tomatoes, and rice to round it out. And I did have something expire and... August this year, which was, I believe, the tomatoes. Yep. So I'm not that worried about it. I know tomatoes will go at least a year. I'm going to try to use these up within six months. Now, this one, again, probably will need a bigger bag because the other ones do not seal very well. So I'm going to invest in a lot more, oops, a lot more of these large bags. It just makes it easier. And since I have not written anything on them, they are completely reusable. So if I pull a meal off, I have the bag left for another meal kit. So now, like I said, it might not be the biggest meal, but I'm trying to make it balanced so that it's filling and you won't be hungry too much after dinner. All right. So here's bag number two. We have a chili and rice. The next one I have is fairly simple, and I don't want to hear anything about how horrible ramen is for you, because quite frankly, it's inexpensive, it cooks up fast, and more importantly, when you're hungry, there are 370 calories per package. That makes a huge difference on whether you're going to be hungry or not. Two of these has... 740 calories and if you're feeding four people you need those calories okay 
So to this, you can use the packets or not, up to you. Depends on how much sodium you like. You can use one, you can use both. I found canned roast beef. At Walmart, this brand, it's 12 ounces, which is actually perfect for three people. But, you know, you can stretch it to four. That gives you, you know, three ounces a piece of the roast beef. This was about three and a half dollars. There's a uh, brand I really like called Keystone. And I have a couple of their cans, but they have almost more than doubled in price. I think the small can at my Walmart was around $10. It was $9.88. So I could get, you know, I think that was a full pound. I can get more of this on a budget. So really, this budget meal is, you know, $3.50 for this. These are 20 some cents a package. Let's say 50 cents. I just, here's $4. I'm going to add, just to add something more to it, I like mushrooms. We love mushrooms here. So I'm going to add a can of mushrooms. I bought these when they were still really cheap. Um, and that's that's the earliest one to expire, by the way. This meat doesn't expire until 27. Used by, no, August 25. So this one goes is good for another, you know, almost three years at least. And then my mushrooms. So you could tr you could trade this out for corn or mixed vegetables, whatever your family likes. This is how I make this meal. Again, I save any juices because of the flavor. Unless they're extremely high in sodium, then I will probably get rid of them. Instead of making this like a soup, what I do is, my kids used to call it mama helper because I made this a lot when we were very poor. I would take the ramen and instead of using... I believe it's two cups per package. I use two cups per two packages. So it makes it more like a skillet meal. So I just need to add one bottle of water. And then I have my beef, mushrooms, and ramen meal. A $5 meal for a family of four. And it's very fast. By the time you heat that water with the beef and the mushrooms, you throw your ramen in and it's done. All right, so there's our third meal pack. My fourth meal pack, I have a few of these potatoes laying around. And I was like, how could I make this a really, really good meal? And I had a couple other things I need to use up. So I have, I need four cups of water. Four cups, that's a lot, right? Four cups of water. But to make these richer, and to make them um, more nutritional and add extra protein, whatever you want to do to this meal, I need to use some of these up. These expired in the end of 21. Again, I'm not that worried about it. I also have powdered milk in the... I keep my powdered milk in the freezer. It just lasts forever that way. So I have a can of evaporated milk. There is 12 ounces in here. As you know, that's a cup and a half. So I need another, what, three cups of water. Here's two. I can use the water. Oh, that's not water in here. So I need one more. I need two of these in this package. But what I would do is I would take a bottle of water, which is a little over, I think it's about a cup and a quarter, and my evaporated milk. I would heat those up. Add my baked potatoes, I mean my loaded potatoes, my, and that's how I would add some extra nutrition besides I'm getting my dairy that way. Nice thing about this milk, especially if you're looking to add some calories, maybe you don't have a lot of food to add with this. So this has 12 servings, which is two tablespoons, at 40 calories. So this alone is 480 calories. Oops. Then it also has 24 grams of protein that I'm adding to this meal. You divide that by four, you're getting an extra six grams of protein, which is what I try to add together as my proteins. This one has another 24 grams of protein. So right here, I have 12 grams of protein per four, for each of four people. Sorry, I had to readjust here. Okay, so... You know, if you're a family of two or a single person, you can buy these 
you know, in a smaller pack. This happens to be a family size. With this, depending on the size of the family, you have a couple choices. I found this ham, and it was only, I was really surprised, it was about $348, 349 for this one pound can. Again, perfect size for four people. If, you're, if you have a smaller family or your budget really doesn't allow this, you want to keep this less, you could add, I found this can of ham. It's oh, It only has five ounces, but I would just mix it into my potatoes and have, you know, kind of like a potato, uh, what do you want to call it, loaded potato, okay? And then, so you get a choice if you're a single or two people or on a strict budget. I uh, bought this before the first of the year and it was a dollar. I don't know what they are now because I, I didn't see one at my Walmart and I d didn't look when I was in the city. So you have your choice of which one you would use. Obviously our family is going to use the larger one. And my brother's favorite, I try to add it at least once a week or once every two weeks to every meal, it has to be sweet corn cream style. So what's better on a baked potato or mashed potatoes, in my opinion, than some corn? So here's my next meal. There's my next meal. All right. I ran out of room on my table, so I'm going to go grab my last two, and I will be right back. All right. That took me a second, but I want to show you what I have. These meals took a little bit of imagination Remember, it's not a perfect recipe. It's use it up before you lose it, and you won't go hungry. Okay, my next one, I'm making a taco soup. Something like a taco soup. Anyway, I said I have a box of macaroni and cheese. This is bulking up my meal. Save the cheese packet. I'm going to use the cheese packet to make a sauce that I could put on top so people are getting thinking they're getting some kind of cheese. If I had dehydrated cheese, or I should say freeze-dried cheese, that could go in here. You could also get those packets of Velveeta cheese. That could go in here. And then, so my little box of macaroni and cheese <laughs> that I got on clearance for, I don't know, 50 cents because it's shaped like paws. Make my, it'll make my taco soup really good. And I had this little bag of corn chips. I think this came out of one of those helper meals. And honestly, we haven't had those in probably since the pandemic started. But it says top with corn chips. So it just gives you a little something to add on top. Obviously, if you have things in your house like sour cream, a chopped tomato, some green peppers, whatever you like, add on top of your soup and you know, from your refrigerator to use it up. But remember, these are sort of a grab-and-go meal. The next couple of ingredients. So this is where I started with. I started with a can of chili. This is a no-beans chili. Again, um, it's not enough for four people. I mean, if you have a quarter of this can, you're going to be pretty hungry, even if you mix it with mac and cheese. So I was like, how can I bulk this out to make it more like a meal? So to that, I added some tomatoes. I would leave the juice in there. I would just dump them all together. I need to use it up. We're not a big tomato soup um, eater. All right. And then I added a can of the kidney beans. So that's a sort of taco soup. But now I need to season a little bit. So you could either buy a packet of the taco seasoning in my case, I buy a great big container like this big, and I have, I don't know where I got these. I have these little bags, and you could find them. I know jewelry making areas like at Walmart, they have them, and you can, or see, I put a lot of my seed state saving stuff in that, so this might be where I got it from. So I need some taco seasoning. This is about four tablespoons. I could use all of it, or I don't have to use all of it, depending on how we want it flavored. To bump up the flavor, a couple of bouillon cubes. And a lot of recipes call for 
ranch mix. And I do have quite a few of these, so I might as well use it up. Again, it's going to boost that flavor. In my brother's case, it might hide some of the flavor from the beans. I don't know. But I thought this was a really cool meal. I add two bottles of water just in case. Well, I could either use it to cook the mac and cheese, but I need to make my cheese into a liquid. I could also put um, powdered milk in here so that it would be more like a milk mixed with the cheese. And if I need to add some liquid to my soup to make it go a little further or just make it where I need it to be, I can add the water. Okay, so that's another quick meal. Of course, that's going to go in the larger zipper bag. And I have another one over here. This is going to be, this is another kind of imagination one. I'm going to make a ham. Now, if, again, you do not have the ham or you want to make this a one-pot meal, this is really easy. I take either, this is a lot of ham, so I would serve this on the side, but if I only had a little bit like this can here, I would mix this in with the next items, okay? So depending on what you want to do. I make a lot of scallop potatoes, that's what we're having. We're having ham with cheesy scallop potatoes. And I make a lot of them with little bits and pieces of ham that I, you know, cut off the bone or they're just too small. You know, I put them on pizza. I make a lot of chopped up ham. And this that helps to keep things uh, more interesting, okay? I could add them to scrambled eggs, whatever I like. So for that, I am going to use up. These need to get used up. You can see they were from 21. I have two cans of potatoes. If I wanted to make it bigger, I have three more cans over there. I could even make a huge meal out of this. To make my potatoes a little bit more interesting, I didn't even know I had it, a can of cream of mushroom soup. I have not, I don't even know where I got it. I haven't bought cream of mushroom soup in years. So this is good till 23. I don't know. I must have picked it up for something and I never used it. So I have my cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to add to my potatoes. I want some milk to thin down the soup to add to my potatoes. Again, more flavor. And then I thought I'm going to top them off with some of the French's crispy fried onions. Again, these need to get used up. They come in these little containers. They have the off-brand, um, like the Walmart GW brand, and in little bags. And so that's kind of nice. Gives me something different, especially if I didn't have that big ham and I needed to use this. This would make a really great meal, I think, anyway. Um, you know, the onions, the potatoes, and all this other stuff. That would come together really nice as a casserole if I didn't have the big ham. Then, from the Dollar Tree, if you guys don't know, they sell the packages of Velveeta cheese. Woo and I would mix this in, of course, with my soup and my milk and my cheese and my potatoes. Top it with the onions, and I think I have a very good meal. A can of vegetables on the side if you want them. And I think that would make a pretty good size meal for four people. All right, so there are my six meals. I'm going to show you a bonus meal that will take two items, maybe three, and turn that into a meal for four or at least three to four meals for a single person. And that is the good old macaroni and cheese. You could use this type or the powder stuff. This cheese is all ready to go. You don't have to add milk or butter. Can of tuna. Loop. And maybe a can of peas or mixed vegetable. Cook the macaroni. Add the cheese. Add the tuna. Add your vegetables. Bam, you're done. All right, so that's a little quick bonus for you. Time to think outside the box, you guys. Dig out the food that needs to get used up and put together some meal kits that you can use up over the next, you know, this would give me a full week of meals, dinners at least. And I haven't even touched most of the stuff for my pantry. So, all right guys, let me know please what you think of these meals, 
how I could improve them, how I could change them. I do have a little list going on things that I need to pick up. Like I would like a beef gravy packet for one of my other meal kits. I definitely, I do not use canned vegetables here. I rarely, rarely, other than corn, rarely use canned vegetables. But you guys know I do forage a lot. And if I did not have a vegetable, I and it was, you know, anywhere but dead of winter in Michigan, I would forage things like purslane, it's a great vegetable, lamb's quarters, dandelion greens, and there's quite a few more out there to add the vegetable to the side of these. So um, I don't like canned vegetables. What can I say other than corn? I just don't, none of us do. So anyway, that's what I would add if you're doing this for a family. Add a few vegetables. Um, I like the small cans because that's, I know that's what we're going to eat. You can get the bigger can for your family. Save those juices, the liquids in your cans. They add extra nutrition and flavor. And you don't need to waste those. Your pasta water, if you're making that cheese packet, use the pasta water. It will help thicken that cheese and that macaroni and cheese. And I'm not trying to think of anything else I need to tell you about these food kits. They're going up in my pantry as is. And that way I can grab a bag and make it for dinner. I need to pop this in here really quick. Because I'm using a lot of canned foods, Get a couple extra can openers. Keep them with your food. They make some that, the little military kind, they're called P38s. You can buy them off Amazon. You can put one in each bag. This is going to happen to go in my pantry, but if I had it in a tote to take as a bug out, I would have probably at least two can openers because, you know, recently I broke one. So I need to... Make sure, and you can buy cheap can openers at the Dollar Tree. Get three or four, throw them in wherever you need them so that you don't forget that they're there or you can't open your cans. But if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let's me know you want me to make more of them. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'm trying to help people find ways to be much more food secure. These would be great if you want to clean out your pantry and there's just oddball things in there. Put a meal kit together. Donate it to your local food bank or a neighbor who you know is in need. I'm sure they would really appreciate it. If you have food insecurity, please call 211. They will direct you to all the agencies that help in your area. That's in the States, of course. Um, I'm not sure about Canada and across the world. But I really hope you enjoyed this and come back. If you subscribe and hit that little bell, you'll know when I post my next video. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.